Okay guys, let's take a quick look at your interactive flat panel. This is going to be just a basic look. I'm not going to get into anything advanced. I'm going to get to certain parts and I'm just going to tell you that's an advanced part and I'm not going to talk about it. Um, if you're interested in going into the more advanced stuff, we'll get, we'll get to it. But anyhow, this little power button right down here is where you turn it on. You'll get this screen after a couple of seconds. You press to start. You can press anywhere on the screen that you want to go. You'll get to this. What you want to do is pick this blue star, or over here, you have this little, I'm going to call it a flower menu. You can go to the blue dot. The blue dot tells us to bring your computer onto the TV. And here it comes. There it is. And so now, this is just a big touch screen. We can do anything we want. There's, there's no additional setup. It just works. I can, I can bounce around. I can do whatever I want to do. Uh, heck, where was I? There I was. And so now we, let's, get, let's have a look at this little flower menu over here. Uh, one little thing to note is this thing moves. So if you have a mischievous student or you come in and you had a sub who moved it on you accidentally, <coughs> You might have to look for that little dot. So let's, let's look at this dot a little bit more in detail. The very top one will list off the most recent things that you've done. You're never going to have to uh, go to that one. The blue star, again, brings your computer onto the TV. The next one is the back button. You probably won't use that too often. That's, that will just go back to the last thing that the TV was doing. The home button takes you back to that windmill screen. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look back at my computer and we're going to write on the screen. So to write on the screen I'm going, to, I'm going to touch this pink one that has a screen with a marker on it. What's going to happen, we're going to see this menu come across the bottom. And let's go someplace that I can Okay, so now with your little stylus or with your finger or with anything mm, that's not razor sharp, you can write on the screen. Let's look at the menu at the bottom. This one here will, will be a line, but I want to change the color of the line. I press and hold. I can change it to any color that, that is available there. The next button is a marker button. And again, I can change the color and the size and it just it just works. So I, I've done everything I want to do. Oh, hang on, I'm going to keep moving here. Let's look at the next one. The next one is a certain amount of uh, shapes that you can that you can play with. Let's put a, a red star up here. But now I put it in the wrong place and I want to move it. That's the next tool. It's called the lasso tool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this star up and I'm going to move it right to where I want to put it. And then I can go back to my pen and, and keep writing about whatever it is that you guys do to put intelligence in kids' heads. The next one is the eraser. Sometimes you might get a goofy eraser. If you hold it, you want to pick this one over here. It's an eraser just like your smart board. And you can do it like that. The broom sweeps the whole screen clean. And then you would say clear. You also have a back and forward button. The back button is just going to take you back through the steps of what you did. The forward button is just like what you would think it was going to do. This is a screen capture button. Not going to talk about it. This is a gear button. Not going to talk about it. Uh, the little door will exit it. But what the one I left out is the one on the far left. If I want to control my computer, I can't. What I need to do is click this button, and it looks like a mouse cursor. So now it is a mouse cursor, and I can do whatever I want to do. I'm back in control of my computer. <clears throat> but what I'm going to do, I'm going to sweep this clean, and I'm going to get out of it by hitting the little exit button. And now let's, let's see what's next. The next one 
is uh, turn my turn my whole TV into a whiteboard. So if you notice, the toolbar at the bottom looks a lot, <clears throat> pardon me, a lot like the one that we had when we were marking up the screen. We're going to start from left to right. The gear, don't worry about it. This is insert a picture. Don't worry about it. That's a, that's a more advanced one. This one is insert a text box. If you want to type something, you can do that. The next one is a very similar set of, of uh, shapes that you can put on your board. Uh, this button, I don't know how you would use this button, but this is what this does. This turns it into an endless whiteboard. So I can come up here and then get my pen and then start writing again. And go back down again. And write again. Seems pretty neat until I have to go back to find what I did. So I don't know if I know where all of my stuff was. I personally don't like that button. The three dots we're going to come back to. The pen dot, very exact same thing. I can pick my color, I can write, marker, exact same thing. Pick my color and write. The lasso button, I can pick something up and move it to someplace else. The eraser button, very same, very same function. Sweep it clear, very same function. Your back and forward are the very same function. But now we have these new buttons over here. I think that probably the better way to, to do this is to hit this plus button and now you get a new slide and you get a new slide and you get a new slide. This next button will let you see the slides that you have running. We're going we're gonna to exit out of it and I can just bounce through the slides that I've made. On this plus button, here's kind of a neat thing, instead of just hitting plus, I can hold plus and I can pick up if I want some of this writing because I'm going to teach people how to write in, or in cursive or whatever you're going to do, but you have all of these choices. Uh, if, you, if you're musically inclined, you can bring this up. If you're going to try to figure out your baseball team. You have just a whole lot of choices. Okay, the last thing I want to talk about on the whiteboard is these three dots. It's the one that I skipped over. So what we can do on those three dots, there's visualizer and recorder. The visualizer word is your document camera. We're going to take care of that through your laptop. We're not going to do that um, via this way. The screen recorder, I can get it to work, but I can't get sound to work. That's something that we're working on. This, this last one, though, we might want to do it, split mode. And so what it is, it allows two people to be up here writing at the same time. So they can write independently of, of however it is that you want to, to use this. Uh, each one has its own eraser. Each one, when I clear one, it only clears one side. Uh, another thing that we can do from here, I can split it into three. Three dots in a computer always means there's something more. So I can... I can split it into three. Uh, I'll back up here, like the screenshot. We're not going to worry about that. That's that's another thing that we're going to be a more a little bit more advanced. So now I can split it into three. I can have three people working up here, or uh, if you want to, you know, do your notes. However, you might want to use this. Um, and then to exit out of here, I do an exit and I'm out. And so that's the whiteboard. Let me see. Yep, I went over everything. And again, the door is the exit door, and out you go. That's everything that's around here on this flower. I'm going to bounce back home. So I have the choice of using this home button, or there's also a home button down here that I could use, just in case you get lost and you just don't know what to do. You can hit this home button and take it back. Now we're going to take a quick look over here. Again, it's the blue star. It says, look at my computer. If that doesn't work, we didn't program it to the correct input. If, if the blue star doesn't work for you, just give us a call, we'll fix it. The source is, is a more advanced topic, but if you want to plug something in, there's an HDMI port and USB down here. The whiteboard is the whiteboard that we just looked at. Screen sharing is for wireless screen sharing. We're going to try to avoid that almost at all costs. I know I'm going to have to do it some places. If we have to do wireless in your room, that's going to be a whole different subject. The other things we don't really need to worry about. 
there, there's one cool little feature that if you touch this clock here and click on it, you come to here. What you have is an alarm clock. You can set multiple alarms. You can do whatever you want. If you want, if you want it to go off to remind you that um, you have to take your kids to lunch, you have to do whatever you want. We have a, a, just a plain old clock if you want that to be displayed. I'm sorry, there's not an analog clock. I've been asked that a couple of times. I also have a countdown. And it'll give us a little, a little beep at the end. That way you don't have to go to Google and find your own, uh, find your little countdown meter all the time. And you also have a stopwatch if you want to have a race to see who can clean the room the fastest. Uh, and how long does it take to clean the room or whatever it is you want to do. Let's talk about the stylus. The stylus is probably on a magnet in the back of your TV. It has a little piece of adhesive if you decide that you want to stick it on the side or uh, uh, most whiteboards are magnetic if you want to stick it on there, whatever you want to do. Um, it's just a piece of plastic. There's, there's, there's no intelligence in here. Uh, so if you lose it, don't panic. You can you can use a ballpoint pen. You can use, you know, well, I probably keep the cap on it, but um, you can use whatever you want, and your finger always works. But I'm going to bounce back to my computer input, and now we're going to have a look at your new document camera. Down here, uh, you might or might not have a an icon that is the blue little light that's going to launch the software for your uh, document camera. If you don't have it, if you press on start, come down to the eyes, under IPVO, it can be launched from here. And so now this is the document camera, and we can, it, it works, ex you just pull it up on the screen, I can do the exact same thing. I can go into markup mode, and I can begin to start writing or doing whatever it is that, that you guys do to make kids smart. Um, what couple of, what, a couple of things that might happen here. You have a camera on your laptop, and so what might happen, whoops, sorry. Let me go back to, remember, you have to go back to the, uh, to the mouse cursor here to have control over your computer. You might have to hit this little button up here and select camera. And so sometimes you might be looking, oh, hi Jenny. <laughs> um, you might get the laptop camera, but you want to just get it back to that BZR, but you only have two, so just pick the other one. Uh, a couple of other things you can do, if this is a little bit dark, you can turn the light on on your camera, and if this is not exactly straight, you could come here and straighten it up and have that. I'm going to sweep that clear. So that's that's the document camera. Pretty, all pretty easy stuff. Not a big change from your smart board. Your document camera might be a little bit different, but it's not too hard. Um, what other things do I want to talk about? I want to talk about cleaning this thing. So you can use whatever rag you want. Uh, from the uh, manufacturer's videos, they say that felt and flannel work really well. You can use microcloth. You can use whatever you want. This is, this is glass. This is not your living room TV. It's quarter inch tempered glass. And that's, there's not a surface that we need to worry about that you, that you touch. So you're just going to get a rag and spray your Windex or whatever your choice is on the rag, not on the TV. We don't want water seeping in or Windex seeping in along these edges. Which brings me to my next point, I think, is how does it feel your finger and why do I care? Along the edge here, it, it's really, it's called an infrared curtain, and that's, that's how it feels where your finger is. And one thing that I foresee happening is that this thing will get a little bit dusty and it's not going to feel your finger very well. In that case, just give it a drag, and, and you're back off to the races. Um, that's about all that I can think of for, the, for this. This is really pretty easy, folks. Don't, don't panic about it. Uh, give us a call if you have a problem. Feel free to go back in the video, watch the parts you want, 
and that's it. Thanks for paying attention.